All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about this new. I think it's going to be my favorite show at the Disney Plus at the moment. Uh, originally done by Hulu. And, uh, but today, I just found it. Actually, uh, what do you call that? The other one. Uh, Disney Plus doing it also. So let's watch it together. Uh, this amazing new movie. It's called Sogan. And uh, and see what you guys think about it. Okay. This is the Sogan. A uh, new drama movie. I mean, in a series. I'm gonna be come out every week at the. Uh, at the what do you call that at the Disney Plus, starring by my favorite guy Hiroyuki Sanada, or unknown also as a Henry Sanada. This movie is a bit different, and she's uh, based on the novel by I forgot what his name, but we will find out soon. And let's watch together and what you guys think about it. Some are born banner of greatness. Others for centuries, Japan was ruled by a sovereign emperor. Sorry about that. But uh Let's do it again. The hereditary nobility held power over the people. The imperial court. Over time, wealth and power shifted and disseminated across the country. Provincial affluence gave birth to a burgeoning group of feudal lords. The country spiraled into armed conflict, giving rise to a more definitive militaristic rule. The samurai, a warrior class, bound to a code of conduct and sworn duty to protect their lord's land at all costs, emerged. The unprecedented rise of the samurai severely diminished the emperor's authority, unleashing an insurrection that established a new commanding ruler atop the social structure, the shogun. The dominance of the shogun furnished peace for a period, but unrest slowly simmered ever greater as nobles continued the battle to expand their fiefdoms. Conflict reignited as warring states threatened to drive the country apart, ultimately plunging Japan into hundreds of years of turmoil and civil war. War was a way of life. Death for dishonor, the essence of what it means to be a samurai. That's a battle. It looks like it's gonna be good. But true honor can only be attained through victory in battle. Bound by the code, defeated samurai must take their own life through the ritual of seppuku. The preceding events accurately reflect the true history of the samurai's rise to power. These events inspired the acclaimed fictional novel by James Clavell. James Clavell, that's what he got. the world of the original series, Shogun. Shogun. Japan, 1590. Chaos has reigned since the fall of the last Shogun. The country enters a period of peace under a new leader, the Taiko. But this moment of unity is short-lived. The Taiko dies, leaving behind a seven-year-old heir not yet of age. The fate of the nation is thrown into jail. Uh, for those of you who want to know about what the Taiko, Taiko is another novel, but uh, forgot the, the writer, I think, of, of the novel, of themselves, but by the Japanese. It's another one of the good novels. 
as a best novel that I actually finished reading when I was little. It's such a good novel. But this movie looks like it's going to be really good. I'm already watching about three episodes of it, and it's quite good. As uh, You can watch them at the, uh, Disney+. Plus. For those of you that are born and growing up around 70s and 80s, you will know Hiroyuki Sanada. Or Henry Sanada. A council of regents is assembled. One busho from each of the five major regions who control territories of strategic importance. Yoshi Toranaga of Yoshi Kanto. Toranaga, Kanto. Sugiyama Josi from the northern regions. Ono Harunobu from Bungo. Bungo. Kiyama Ukon Sadanaga from Higo. Higo Ishido province. Kazunari of Goshu. So this is a big fight about the samurai power, code obviously. binds the regents to duty, even as distrust poisons the council. In the absence of Nakamura, Ishiro takes the seat at the helm of Osaka Castle, the impenetrable fortress where the highest of the warrior class converge at the center of power. Within this samurai class, women are educated, accomplished, trained in the ways of war and maneuver to influence the regents beyond these imposing walls lies the gateway to trade and influence from the outside world a christian faith war is bleeding onto the shores as catholics and protestants carve up the western world into religious battlegrounds the catholics assert their reach across the japans attempting to convert the masses these foreign agendas further deepen the divides within the country, where each busho has an unspoken agenda for greater power and control. They build upon their already great samurai armies, but the will to rule will be forged in the blades of the samurai's katana, as new and ancient bloodlines struggle for supremacy. Is on the precipice of war when John. So, for the fans of uh, Game of Thrones, all of you that like Game of Thrones, you gotta watch this. This is such a good fucking. Uh, well, in our time, obviously, not really in our time, but in our history, you know what I mean? As a as base, not really based on the true story, it's a base on the novel, but the people actually do exist in the story. John Blackthorne, a privateer from the West, is shipwrecked along the coast. Oranaga appoints Lady Mariko, a trusted advisor, as Blackthorne's interpreter and teacher. Now, three fates will be forged in one purpose, to fight for the future of a vast nation as history collides with the dawn of a new era. I really enjoyed this movie, and now, hang on a second, and I'm watching uh, the three episodes of them already at the Apple. I really do like it. I do like it, and uh, I really highly recommend it. I don't know how far they are, but at the same time, seeing the, all the woke movie that come out from the US at the moment, but this movie gonna be bound to be a good movie. I guarantee this one. I know Hiroyuki Sanada, as you guys know him in the mo in the he was in the the Last Samurai with the. Tom Cruise, big actor, you know. We growing up watching him, and the the name of Monikor Henry Sanada. He used to playing a uh, uh, what do you call that one? He used to playing as a ninja or samurai under the guidance of the Sony Chiba. You guys remember Sony Chiba? He's in the Kill Bill also at the same time. Anyway, thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, hope everyone have a good day and a good uh, good time. Until I see you guys again one day and subscribe and share this video, you know, it's not often that we got a really good movie.
is die, but this is one of the good one. Thank you very much. Until I see you guys again, all the best.